Questions 1 through 10 on the 2021 Grade 9 Pascal Math Contest. Point Q is on a line segment between P and R as shown. If PR is 12 and PQ is 3, what is QR? From P to R, the whole segment is 12. From P to Q is 3, so QR is 12 minus 3, which is 9. So number 1, the answer is D. What number should be placed in the box to make the equation 1 half equals box over 8 true? 1 half is equal to, let's just call it x over 8. That means if you cross multiply, it'll be 8 is equal to 2x. Therefore, 8 over 2 is equal to x. That means x is 4. So a 4 goes into the box. Therefore, number 2, the answer is C. Alina earns $13.25 per hour working at a store. How much does Alina earn in four hours? $13.25 times four hours. And when you multiply that, you get 53. So number three, the answer is E. In the diagram, squares of side length one meet each other at their vertices. The perimeter of the figure is. Each of these squares contributing one, two, three, four, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares. So seven times four would be the perimeter, and that's 28. So number four, the answer is D. Wesley is a professional runner. He ran five laps around a track. His time for the five laps were 63 seconds, one minute, 1.5 minutes, 68 seconds, and 57 seconds. What is the median of these times? To get the median, we have to arrange them from smallest to largest, so 57, then 60, with a 1 minute, then 63, then 68, and then 90 seconds, with the 1.5 minutes. The middle number is 63, so number 5, the answer is A. A rectangle has length 13 and width 10. The length and width of the rectangle are each increased by 2. How much? Does the area increase? We have some rectangle, and the dimensions initially are 13 and 10. So the area initially would be 13 times 10, which is 130. And then later, you're adding 2 to each of those uh, dimensions, and therefore that becomes 15, and that becomes 12. So now the new area would be 15 times 12, and that's 180. So they're asking you to compare this 130 to that 180, and obviously that is an increase of 50. So number six, the answer is A. Which of the following is equal to 110% of 500? 110% can be written as 1.10. Then you multiply that by 500, and that will give you the answer. And the answer here, of course, is 550. So number seven, that's it. The answer is E. An integer n is decreased by 2 and then multiplied by 5. If the result is 85, what is n? You have n, first you decrease it by 2, then you multiply it by 5, and the result is 85. Okay, n minus 2, therefore, would be 85 divided by 5, n minus 2 is 17. n, therefore, would be 17 plus 2, n is 19. Number 8, the answer is b. The two equal arm scales shown are balanced, which of the following has the same mass as four circles. Well, according to this right here, two circles is equal to a triangle. So four circles would be equal to two triangles. And then continuing, according to this, one triangle is equal to three squares. So two triangles would be equivalent to six squares. And therefore, number nine, the answer is E. How many integers between 100 and 300 are multiples of both 5 and 7, but not of 10, not multiples of 10? Well, if a number is a multiple of both 5 and 7, it will be a multiple of 5 times 7, which is 35. So let's just write out all the multiples of 35. 35, 70, 105. 140, 175, 
210, 245, 280, 315, and so on. But we only need to be concerned with numbers between 100 and 300, so in that range. Now, they cannot be multiples of 10. Any time a number is a multiple of 10, it will end in 0. So we got to get rid of this guy, this guy, and this guy. And the ones that are left, 1, 2, 3. Three numbers left. So number 10, the answer is 3, which is choice C.